we're going to explain how to reset a VSOL ULT. Resetting your VSOL optical line terminal, OLT, can be necessary to resolve various network issues, but it's a process that should be approached carefully. There are several ways to reset an OLT, each with its own implications, so understanding the differences is crucial. 1. Understanding the types of resets. There are generally two main types of resets, a soft reset and a hard reset. A soft reset, often called a reboot, simply restarts the OLT's operating system without affecting its configuration. This is the first step to troubleshoot most issues. A hard reset, on the other hand, completely erases all configurations and settings, returning the OLT to its factory default state. This is a more drastic measure and should only be performed if absolutely necessary and after attempting a soft reset. 2. Performing a soft reset. A soft reset is typically achieved by accessing the OLT's management interface, usually via a web browser. The exact method might vary slightly depending on your OLT model, but it generally involves logging in using the provided credentials and then finding a reboot or restart button. Once you initiate the reboot, the OLT will power cycle and restart itself, restoring its normal functionality if the issue was temporary. After the reboot completes, check the functionality of your network to see if the problem is resolved. 3. Performing a hard reset. A hard reset, also known as a factory reset, is far more impactful. It wipes out all existing configurations, including user accounts, network settings, and any custom settings you might have implemented. This usually requires physical access to the OLT. Locate the reset button, usually a small recessed button on the OLT's chassis. Use a thin, pointed object, like a paperclip, to press and hold the reset button for a specified duration, typically 10-30 seconds. Refer to your OLT's documentation for the precise duration and any safety precautions. Following a hard reset, you'll need to reconfigure the entire OLT. This process typically requires detailed knowledge of network configurations. 4. Accessing the OLT management interface. Before attempting any reset, you'll likely need access to the OLT's management interface. This is typically done through a web browser by entering the OLT's IP address in the address bar. Your OLT's documentation should provide the default IP address and login credentials. Once logged in, you'll have access to the various configuration options and reset functionality. 5. Important precautions. Always back up your OLT's configuration before performing a hard reset if possible. Incorrectly resetting your OLT can disrupt services for numerous users, so proceed with caution. If you are unsure about any step, it's highly recommended to consult the OLT's user manual or contact your network provider's technical support for assistance. Resetting the VSL OLT requires careful consideration of both the type of reset needed and the potential consequences. By following these steps and understanding the implications, you can address network issues effectively. Remember, always prioritize safety and consult the official documentation before proceeding.